We're excited to have everybody here, exciting event. Uh, and, uh, we're going to turn it over to uh, Dave Sparks, and he's going to share his thoughts on uh, this great event coming up soon. Great. Hey, thanks. Thanks for coming out here today and being part of this. What an exciting event we have coming up. We have the fourth annual Michiana All-Star Game, basketball game here. And uh, he's here at Bethel College on March 30th. And uh, it's uh, all the other games have been been uh, extraordinary. We have been uh, almost at a sold out capacity uh, in, the, in the White Camp Gymnasium here at Bethel College, at least at 80% capacity. Mm -hmm. So it's been a great crowd and uh, uh, the game has always been a lot of excitement. The, ga the game is all about the community and uh, all the all-stars from surrounding schools and uh, it, it turns out to be a great, if you're a basketball fan, this is one of those things that you have to come to. You know, this is the fourth game, and uh, uh, we're proud to be here with uh, our partner, Bethel College, and especially working with Coach Mike Lightfoot. You know, it's been a great partnership. Uh, we've had, uh, personally, we've had a partnership now for 25 years, yeah. and uh, working with Bethel College and and then working with the basketball program at Bethel College, it doesn't get any better than that in this community. So uh, the partnership is just one of those things that uh, we really cherish. And, and then to be able to put on this game and bring this game to the Michiana community, it's just truly extraordinary. The, uh, the women's game is on March 30th at 5 p.m. And then that is followed by the men's game or the boys' game at 7.15 that same night. So uh, tickets, uh, it's one ticket price for both games. Tickets are uh, $5 for adults. Students are $2 at the door. One of the great things about this, uh, this game, uh, and certainly about basketball and, uh, and, and really getting the skills of the players out there, but you know, this really, there's also a grounding effect to this, because uh, part of, the, part of the, the festivities, if you will, of the game is that they all go down to the Ramadan uh, family room at Memorial Hospital. Uh, all the students go down and they go to the Peace Center, they visit with uh, the young folks in the hospital, they get to experience uh, the hospital and those people then in the hospital, but they also get a chance to tour the family room and get, to get a glimpse of Ramadan House Charities. And you know, that's kind of a grounding effect you know, especially when uh, you're in high school, and it really helps broaden their horizons to really what goes on in the community and different things. So, I mean, that's just one of those additional benefits to the game. So, I uh, hope you can make the game. And uh, Coach, again, it's just fantastic to be working with you again and being here. So. Well, thank you, Dave. And we like to thank McDonald's because, you know, this all came about with a dream. Uh, many years ago, you remember, we had the uh, McDonald's All-American Games, and uh, Bethel was fortunate enough to host the dunk contest. And then shortly after that, uh, Dave and I got together and thought, what can we do in our own community that can uh, be an impact on not only the community, but the kids that are playing in this game? And so we've uh, we've kind of adopted the same format of being able to go to the hospital and allow our kids to to see, you know, the other side of uh, what's fortunate. They're blessed with great uh, athletic ability and great health. And then to get to the hospital and see uh, kids who've had uh, misfortunes and uh, are sick, it just makes an impact on their lives. So it gives them an opportunity to give back to the community in a special way. And so uh, that's probably the highlight for me of the whole the whole uh, event is being able to see the kids and see how it's changed their lives. And so, you know, we're just very happy at Bethel College to be a part of this in relationship with McDonald's and Dave and Kathleen Sparks. And we're just so fortunate that they can, they've allowed us to be a part of this and also be a part of the Ronald McDonald's family room because it serves so many people in the community. And if this can be a, an event that creates a, an awareness of that room and the opportunities that it gives to so many young families and so many families that need the support from that room, uh, it all enhances that because of the great uh, the event. And as, as uh, we've talked about and as Dave mentioned before, this is a great, a great venue because uh, we get the best of the best. And uh, we've found that this is becoming an attractive thing for our local athletes to want to be a part of this. And, and so there's many young people out there working hard on their skills to someday be a part of this McDonald's uh, All-Star Game. So we're, we're excited to host it. And at this time, I'm going to introduce the, the, uh, the team that's going to be playing on the boys' side. 
and then uh, we'll turn it over and allow uh, you to know the, the young gals are going to be part of the girls' side. So first of all, uh, Philip Zawatka from Concord High School, Billy Dolzalak from Penn High School, Peyton Staples from Mishawaka High School, D.K. Fox from Northwood High School, Braxton Linville from Northwood High School, Ariantre Lawrence from Riley High School, Rashad Jackson from Warsaw High School, Ryan Lutz from Penn High School, Blake Berger from LaVille High School, Green and Sullivan from South Bend St. Joe, Mark Madden from South Bend St. Joe, Tommy Morrison from Northridge High School, Brady Bechtel from Goshen High School, Austin Woolett from Goshen, Dimitri Geiger from uh, Elkhart Memorial, Pete Smith from Northridge High School, Devin Kennedy from Mishawaka Marion High School, Lorenzo Glass from Washington High School, uh, Jacob Strong from John Glenn, Jan Harris from Clay High School, Jordan Simpson from South Ben Adams, Deontay Rosano from Edwardsburg High School, Paul Foreman from Cherubusco High School, and Joe Line from Fairfield. So we're excited because those are outstanding young men that will be representing their schools and be able to be able to play in this great event. And uh, we're looking forward to a, a great opportunity coming up here in March, March 30th. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to uh, Woody, who will be, Woody Woodridge, who will be announcing our women's team that will be playing in this event. All right, thanks, Coach. Um, I just want to say just a few things. Um, one, I want to thank McDonald's for the partnership with Bethel College. Dave, we appreciate all you do, uh, Dave and Jackie and Sarah. Um, and, and Natalie, and obviously Coach Lightfoot, um, you know, for being able to put this thing on. Um, you know, anytime you have some retention and stability, uh, it produces a great product. So we, we really appreciate that, and I uh, hope this can continue to go for, for many more years. Uh, I just had to come here and just not mess it up. So I, I think so far, so good. So I appreciate all the legwork uh, that everyone's done, you know, in, in, in preparation for this, uh, for this big event. With that being said, I want to thank, uh, you know, the local high school coaches, I want to thank the local student athletes, um, and I want to thank the local travel basketball teams who put in a lot of time to, uh, to prepare the student athlete to be able to be a part of uh, such an event like this. I certainly understand the commitment that it takes each and every day uh, to become a great player and, uh, and to be able to, to just to work uh, in that capacity you know, to develop these, these young people, and in this case, these young ladies. So I certainly appreciate the, the high school coaches and, and for all their hard work and the local travel um, AAU teams as well. Um, with that being said, with, with our roster that we have, uh, we have five Division One players um, you know, represented in the Big Ten, the Big East, the Atlantic Ten, the Missouri Valley, and the Ivy League um, are, are the five different conferences at the Division One level. And then on top of that, we have uh, numerous college basketball players at the Division Two level and uh, also a few, uh, a few future lady pilots, which, which obviously I'm excited to, uh, to announce. So uh, with no further ado, um, I'm going to go ahead and announce the roster for, uh, uh, for the women's game. So starting off with uh, Tia Murphy from South Bend, Washington. Lauren Ellenberger from Penn High School. Jordan France from Northwood High School. Danielle Davis from South Bend Adams. Lindsey Kushbull, Lake Central High School. Taylor Miller, Northridge High School. Angela Llewellyn, Culver Community. Clara Carlton, Penn High School. Kyler Columbia, John Glenn High School. Madeline Raster, South Bend St. Joe. Michelle Weaver, South Bend St. Joe. Casey Morton, Penn High School. Camille Kuhlman, South Bend Washington High School. Taylor Wesley, South Bend Washington High School. Lauren Grew, Mishawaka High School. Alexis Miller, Elkhart Memorial High School. Lucy Presnell, South Bend Adams High School. And Kylie Kubik from LaPorte High School. So once again, thank you for everybody that, uh, that, that made this thing happen. We certainly appreciate it. And obviously, uh, thanks, Dave, for all that you do. Thank you. Any questions they have that uh, we can uh, answer at this time, if anything that uh, comes up? Again, we want to thank you so much for the opportunity and those that are watching live to be able to uh, be a part of this. And uh, we look forward again to being able to spread the news about this great event, not only uh, in the Bethel community, but throughout Michiana, that uh, everyone will be out and support uh, um, on March 30th, this uh, Boys and Girls All-Star Game. Thank you very much.